What is up guys? So today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to stream from a 21 by nine monitor like the Acer Predator X34 or the Dell U3415W um, and how to get that working properly on Twitch. So I've been streaming a lot over the past week uh, and I know I've addressed this before in a previous video on you know how, uh, you know the pros and cons of ultra wide and streaming was one of the negative things I had to say um, about the ultra wide experience. So you can go check that out on the other corner, wherever it is. Uh, but today we'll be talking about uh, how to get the 21x9 monitor set up so you can have an enjoyable and professional looking Twitch stream, or at least semi-professional because I'm not professional. And uh, I'm going to say that the last week that I've been doing this on Twitch, it has been fantastic. It's been a really enjoyable experience uh, streaming on a 21x9 monitor and it kind of allows you to be a bit flexible as well uh, on a number of things. So without mucking around any further, we'll jump straight into it. now. You're going to be wanting to stream with OBS Studio, not OBS Classic, OBS Studio. You can download that in the description below. So that's the OBS, uh, I think the 64-bit is the most stable one. The way in which OBS works is you have scenes and you have sources. So your uh, sources you have down here and your scenes here as well. Sorry, your scenes and then your sources. Um, it kind of operates like Photoshop if you're familiar with that in the sense that it has layers. So say for example, this is my top layer. Um, I can choose that to show a be right back screen if I go to the bathroom or you know anything like that happens. Yeah, there's there's basically these sources. That's basically how OBS works. You input different sources and you use that uh, to create your stream. Now, uh, let's jump into the 21 by 9 aspect ratio stream dilemma. Uh, so we'll go straight into, I'll show you my settings and stuff like that, that just so you have an idea as to what's going on. Coming into the general panel, I haven't changed anything there. Stream. Now, when you set up your stream, firstly, you're going to need a stream key. Uh, the stream key is available to you through your dashboard on Twitch. Uh, you do not show this to anyone because someone could hijack your channel. Do not give this out to anyone. Uh, nobody will ask for it, so do not show it to anyone. Um, so that's available on your Twitch, dash Twitch dashboard, um, and you put that in there, and then you're good to go. Uh, your output. Now your output depends on your internet connection. So you could be uh, you know, streaming at 3500 bit rate and that's basically gonna be the quality of your stream. So it really depends on your upload speed. Um, I set mine to 3000. It is gonna take a little bit of playing around to get it completely sorted. Um, you know, I had friends watching the stream and telling me when the bitrate was good, when the bitrate was bad. So I kind of settled on 3000. Uh, that's just what my internet could handle really. Uh, you want to set the encoder to software x264 uh, and you can also set up your recording path if you want to record videos at the same time as well uh, your audio this basically goes through your uh, what audio devices you're using so my desktop audio is going through my sound card um, and my mic you just select whatever mic you happen to be using there so uh, at the moment i'm using a blue yeti this is the important part so uh, this comes down to how you want your stream to actually be outputted. So say for example, you're playing at a 21 by nine ratio and you're wanting to stream at a 21 by nine ratio. Um, your base canvas resolution is gonna be your base resolution on your OBS scene, right? So if you wanted to stream in 21 by nine, you would set that to uh, this bit here to 3440 by 1440, um, or you could output the, and then you'd downscale that if your internet, internet connection isn't that good, um, to a lower uh, 21 by 9 ratio so you can look up the ratios for that. I however choose to uh, have a 2560 by 1440 base resolution scaled down to 1280 by 720 and there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, so as I said before you're either going to be uh, playing at 21 by 9 and then uh, streaming at 21 by 9 or you're going to be playing at 21 by nine and you're going to be outputting at 16 by nine. So this uh, configuration here is going to be me streaming at 21 by nine and then I'm going to be outputting at 16 by nine. And the reason for that is that a lot of people don't have ultra wide monitors uh, and just purely for compatibility's sake, it's easier uh, for them to have a 16 by nine screen. Uh, otherwise you get black bars and stuff like that and people tend to be turned off. Uh, by that kind of thing. So having um, the base resolution set at 1440 and the scaled resolution at 720 means that I'm uh, playing at a higher resolution and downscaling um, for that. So you can have it natively streamed at 1440, but I don't think um, Twitch really handles anything higher than 1080 terribly well. Um, so you can set up your hotkeys here in your advanced. I didn't really do anything here at all, uh, but I would suggest going out and checking. There is a good guide as to um, 
how to set up your bit rates and stuff like that to get a proper uh, or the basically the best quality streaming experience. Now, this is where it gets again interesting. So this is my Overwatch stream. I have got my Twitch camera in the bottom left hand corner. That's a no brainer. But when you launch Overwatch, um, Overwatch, and I don't care what Blizzard says, it is not supported in 21 by 9. So you're going to get one of two scenarios. You're going to be playing your games at 21 by 9 uh, natively, and then you can scale that down into an OBS scene, or you're going to be playing them at 16 by 9 with black bars on the side, which is exactly what Overwatch does. So if I launch Overwatch now, great. Okay, so now you can see uh, in this particular instance that uh, game is rendered in 16 by 9 however we have black bars on the sides and you don't really want people seeing those black bars so when you're wanting to do set up a 21 by 9 stream you need to add it in a, a game capture which is displayed right here so that's game capture and then you want to go into properties and you can you can either select say for example if you want to do a specific scene um, the window as uh, overwatch.exe for example i choose to use capture any full screen application uh, just because it's a bit more flexible and you're going to get something like this where you get black bars uh, on the sides so there is a very easy fix for this when you're encountered when you encounter a game that only runs in 16 by 9 but you still want to stream on an ultra wide you can actually go in and this this is the, this is what i do you right click transform and you do stretch to screen which will scale it horizontally and then you can go um, and without holding that oh you hold down the shift key sorry um, and you scale it like this and then move it across so it takes a little bit of fiddling but you can actually make it so it looks like as if you're playing on a 21 by 9 monitor so that is how you stream overwatch you get your webcam and stuff set up um, by adding in various sources and you basically scale it to however you want it to be scaled. Um, this is a very simple way to do it. This is how I do it for Overwatch and it works extremely well. Now, on to scenario number two, where you're playing in a 21 by nine native ratio. Um, and this is basically what I recommend you doing because it, it means that you can do some pretty cool stuff. Uh, and say for example, I want to stream Bioshock Infinite, which I've been doing for the past week. This is how I set up my uh, scene when I'm doing uh, playing a game natively at 21 by 9. Um, I introduce a game capture, which is here, and you can see that I have set it up as a capture any full screen application. Uh, and you can just simply move that up here. So th that's your that's your game capture sorted. When you initially come uh, to start streaming in 21 by 9, uh, you're just going to have that up there, so you can actually scale the webcam up and down just to make sure it all fits in nicely now what i recommend for your twitch layout is to have your webcam in the bottom left hand corner any social media or anything in the middle and the twitch chat in the bottom right hand corner that way it's nice symmetrical and looks a little bit professional so here's what you need to do you need to add in a window so you go window capture we'll name this chat test okay and now here's where you'll run into an error. You want to select the uh, chrome.exe Twitch Google Chrome tab. You select, okay. For most of you, it's gonna show up as black and that's no good. This is a common problem with OBS and Google Chrome. So what you need to do is you need to go into your Chrome settings, uh, which you'll find here. Uh, and need to be careful not to show you my internet history. <laughs> and you need to go down to use hardware acceleration when available that will be selected on you need to turn that off for some reason with chrome when you have it off it works perfectly fine when you use have it on it'll just break and you'll get a black screen so uh, once that's there you can select this um, i choose to have it set up just like this um, that way you can see the most recent chat messages and uh, one of the important things here as well is that you have it after your pattern background but before your game capture that way that uh, the game capture will sit on top of it and you'll only get the most recent bits of chat so that is game chat in terms of your overlays and stuff like that i also have my follow alert and donation alert um, th there are different other tutorials i'll link down in the description below to get those set up i recommend using twitch alerts um, mainly because it's just been an absolutely phenomenal experience to use so if i go onto twitch alerts now now if i do twitch alerts test follow alert you will see i get a notification but i also get a little square down there that says mr mammoth is following himself because he has no friends um 
And that's basically how you get 21 by 9 set up looking pretty. You can also have a, uh, a pattern background. So pattern background is another image that you load. Um, I just searched up 4K textures uh, and then I put that into here and I made it the bottom so it kind of sticks on the bottom. Um, and you're good to go basically. You just layer everything how you want it to look on top of that. Um, the Mr. Mammoth and at Nanda Panda Tech social media links I also just did in Twitter. Sorry, in Twitter. Uh, I did in Photoshop and that's also another image layered over the top of that. So that is basically how you set up a 21 by 9 stream and make it look kind of pretty. Um, there are different ways to do it. I know that some people have their, um, uh, their game capture in the middle and they have a top and bottom overlay. Um, I choose to have it on top mainly because I think it looks a little bit more slick. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. If you guys have got any questions, then please do let me know um, and I'll do my best to answer them in, uh, in the panel below. Also, I'll just show you my inside one. Uh, this is what uh, another example of what I use when um, I'm streaming on a 16 by 9 game like inside or something that this doesn't support 21 by 9 and that will occur if a game doesn't support 16 by 9 sorry 21 by 9 you will be able to get around it and stream it properly so you know there's just a little bit of workarounds uh, but it's it's doable it's and it's been a great experience I haven't had any issues um, doing this kind of streaming. So that's basically it guys thank you very much for tuning in if you did want to check out my Twitch channel, it is Mr. Underscore Mammoth, uh, and my Twitter, which is where I'm most active for my followers and stuff like that, uh, is at Nanda Panda Tech. Uh, that's the handle. So, again, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, if you do come out and check out the stream, do appreciate it, and enjoy streaming with your glorious new 21x9 monitor. Hopefully, Terry Crews will be doing some streaming as well. And, Terry, if you're watching, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, cheers, guys. Thank you very much. I'll catch you in the next video.